All right, race fans, get ready. The Bank of America Roval 400. That's this Sunday at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Dozens of drivers getting ready to hit the track Sunday. And tonight, we're learning that one driver is doing it for an entire Charlotte community. Sports Director Nick Carboni live at the track this afternoon for us. Boy, this is going to be a great weekend of racing, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, absolutely, Bill. Beautiful weather, a little on the hot side, but better than it being cold and rainy out here as it is sometimes for this October race. We're right in the middle of qualifying. Charlotte's own William Byron right now atop the leaderboard for the pole, but we got another round to go. Meanwhile, it's another local guy we're going to tell you about right now. 23-year-old Matt Tift has been through a lot in his young life just a couple years ago. Had to have a brain tumor removed, jumped back into the race car just a few months later, but he was also a student at the UNC Charlotte Bell College of Business, so Obviously, like many others, the shooting there a couple of months ago affected him. He's done all he can to help out. He would love to deliver that community a win this weekend. As we saw in the 2018 Bank of America Roval 400, anything can happen and anyone can win. And former UNCC business student Matt Tift would be elated to get his first career Monster Energy Cup Series victory just a few miles from campus. Uh, but you never know. I mean, it would be absolutely huge. It would certainly mean more to Tift here more than anywhere else. Like anyone with a connection to UNC Charlotte, it's been a tough few months. You feel the pain, but you don't notice it as much until it's in your own backyard. And uh, just knowing that, you know, I was a student there and, uh, and had friends on campus that day, it's just, it's, um, it's scary. It really is. And, uh, but I think it's amazing the way this community rallied around it. Tift rallied as well. Not only did the 23-year-old make a donation to the Niner Nation Unites Fund, but he also displayed its decal on his car at the May race. Um, I'm a proud 49er, uh, and you know, hopefully we all learn from this as a community and it can make a difference, And uh, but obviously such a, a tough time for everybody. He plans to bring more support for the campus this weekend at the Roval race, and maybe some big smiles with a win. First win anywhere is, is a huge deal, but uh, to be in our own backyard in Charlotte, uh, it, it'd be pretty incredible. All right, so we're hoping for the best for Matt this Sunday. And by the way, he had to leave business school up at UNC Charlotte when he had that brain surgery, but he does hope to return soon and finish his degree in business management. We've got a lot more Roval coverage for you coming up this evening. We're going to go one-on-one -on -one with last year's winner, Ryan Blaney, and hopefully William Byron, the kid from Charlotte, wins the poll tonight. We'll hear from whoever the poll winner is at 6. Back to you. All right, Nick, thanks very much. Everybody loves a success yeah. story.